You're right, guys. It's Capcom Tom here, and welcome to FIFA Through the Years, the Generation Squad Builder. Today, we are going to be building the best possible German team from all the FIFA Ultimate teams that there's ever been. It was one of the squads that was actually requested in this series, so I thought I'd go ahead, make it for you, and bring it to you today. Now, if you're looking to buy some Ultimate Team coins, go and check out futcoinemporium.com. Their link will be down in the description. And if you use the discount code CAPGUNTOM, you will get 10% off all your purchases. So we're going to be building in a 3-5-2 formation. Um, I actually went and tried this out in a 4-4-2 formation and found that if I use the 4-4-2 formation, because the left back and, uh, well, just because the left back is so lowly rated, you end up getting, well, a lower rated squad overall. I think it was like one point difference in the two squads. I know that if I use a 3-5-2, I can't put Lahm in there, one of the highest rated German players of all time. But um, that just can't be helped. That's the way the squad's got to be built. So Lahm, yes, you would have been in it, of course, if we were playing four at the back formation. But because we're having to play three um, to not have a left back in, you're unfortunately not made it. Anyway, if you want to drop this video a like, that would be absolutely fantastic. Obviously, I'm away on holiday at the moment, uh, enjoying the sun, I hope, because obviously I made all this when I was uh, at home the week before. But, uh, yeah, if you could drop it a like now, that would be really appreciated. You know, uh, keep me going through my holiday and, uh, yeah, I'll be checking in every so often to see how my vids are doing. So, hope you guys are enjoying them. Anyway, let's jump in, start building this squad. So, at Striker, we are going to be using, first up, Mario Gomez. He has a 92 rated version on FIFA 12. I have to apologise. There's a lot of team of the seasons and stuff on this uh, team. There's just absolutely loads of them. FIFA 12 and FIFA 13 and the majority of the cards. Um, and that's just because their team of the seasons are basically unbeatable. And Germans really have come into their own in the last, you know, two, three years. Like, definitely captured by EA. They're getting very, very high rated cards. And, uh, yeah, that's just the reason why they're really all in this squad. Anyway, we have got a FIFA 10 um, striker in here. And it is going to be a Rosa. He has a FIFA 10 card. And it is 88 rated. Looks pretty nice as well. 85 pace, 80 dribbling, 90 shooting, 92 heading. Very, very good looking card. Would absolutely love to get my hands on that thing. Um, obviously, he is off in the Serie A at the moment. And uh, seems to be doing quite well out there anyway. Um, I could have put uh, Team of the Season Royce in there. He was a centre forward on FIFA 12 and an 88 rated card. But because we're using him at left mid, as you can see now, um, I couldn't do that. We're using his uh, FIFA 13 team of the season card. You see there, absolutely ridiculous rated card. 91 rating overall, 95 pace, 93 dribbling, 93 shooting, 87 passing. So a really, really, really good card. On the other side, we're going to be using Muller. He also has a very highly rated team of the season card. You can see there, 91 rating overall. Just ridiculous stats, really, for both players. And uh, then in the centre attacking mid, we're using a FIFA 12 card, our first one of this squad builder. And it is going to be Ozil. So here he goes into the squad. And uh, look at that card. Looks absolutely fantastic. 83 pace, 83 shooting, 97 passing, and 95 dribbling. Some very, very good stats for him. Now, uh, this is where the problem arose. Because when I built the squad in the 4-4-2, it meant that I didn't have to put someone who was a centre attacking mid at CDM. But I guess since we're not actually going to be using this squad and just having a look at it and building it for the highest rated purposes we can actually put a cam at CDM it's not very you know very good practice because he wouldn't do very well there in game but um, just for the purposes of this video we will first off though it is going to be Schweinsteiger he is the highest rated player that would be able to play this sort of position and he is 91 rated on FIFA 13 you see there absolutely crazy and uh, the other one I was talking about is obviously going to be Goetze his FIFA 13 in form 90 rated overall goes into CDM spot obviously gets all the chemistry but um, horrific to be playing in the CDM role really if you look at his defensing or defensing his defensive stats are only 60 so you know you're not going to do well however he could play some absolutely fantastic balls off to your you know your strikers your centre attacking mid off to the wing with that 90 passing stat now this is where the team actually drops off in rating points there aren't all that many good German defenders the first one we're going to use though is Hummels quite surprisingly he is the highest rated German by default but uh, the one we're going to be using is his FIFA 12 team of the season you see that 89 rated card really really nice card 71 pace 70 shooting why he has 70 shooting I don't know 94 defending and 90 heading so very good stats for him then in the other two positions we are going to be using um, I believe first off Boateng um, he actually had a left mid card. I'll just bring it up screen, on screen now. This is what I was talking about, the FIFA 10 card. Um, you see here Jerome Boateng. 
uh, we put him into the squad, he's 82 rated left back and that would have been the highest rated ever German left back on the game so uh, quite surprising there, the closest one was Schmelzer, 81, he had a couple of informs that were 81 rated but we're going to be using his uh, Boateng's team of the season card in here and uh, you can see here we get the drop down to ever come up, come on internet's playing up as you can imagine I live in the countryside and everything is pretty slow so there you go there's Boateng 85 rating overall and the other one we're going to be using is actually Bad Stuber he managed to grab himself a team of the season last season and you can see him there going into the squad not too bad at guard to be honest despite how slow he is now you see the 70 pace there 81 passing 90 defending and 87 heading so half decent card then we've actually got a FIFA 10 card going in and I could have used a whole bunch of different goalkeepers I think I could have used um, team of the season Adler he was 89 rated and uh, there's like there's a man of the match Neuer that I could have used but I ended up going for his FIFA 10 card there's also a FIFA 11 in form that I could have used but I'm going to be using his FIFA 10 card when he was at Schalke 89 card overall I think this was a uh, an inform or something but you can see there crazy stats from 90 diving 90 reflexes 84 handing 86 kicking 80 positioning so there you go guys the highest rated German squad that I could come up with go away see if you can beat me this squad actually has a combined stat total of 982 so if you add up all their ratings this comes to 982 so not all that far off getting uh, like a well a hundred or a thousand sorry it's already well over 100 but yeah almost a thousand I mean if you can get it any higher than that I'll be pretty impressed uh, this is just what I did don't be moving people like uh, you know a center attacking mid all the way to striker move them like one two positions at most I mean center attacking mid to striker is kind of a dirty thing to do as you could probably argue moving center attacking mid to CDM is also a dirty move but yeah I'll leave it completely up to you to go out and try and beat it guys I hope you have enjoyed the video obviously if you could drop it like that would be fantastic and yeah I will leave it there subscribe if you're not already and I will see you all next time